What we're gonna do today is uh, replace the clutch in our S2000, Honda S2000. It's 1999 S2K, and we start feeling the, the clutch is slipping, so we decided to, to replace it. What we get, we get the kit from, obviously, eBay. We get the XTD clutch, XTD Racing Performance. So what we get, we get the clutch, looks quite good. If I'll be honest. Like, anyway, it's a clutch. We get the pressure plate, quite heavy pressure plate, and we get release bearing and the sticker. Yeah. So that was all kit. It came from states. I'm not gonna tell you how much it costs because the price changed almost every day. So, but usually the price is is quite good. Five hundred. Yeah. So, Around. Yeah. It's around 500. We get it cheaper, but do the research yourself. And yeah, so today we're working on the lift in the garage, so it's gonna be a little bit easier for us, but I'm sure you can do this the same on your driveway using the proper jack and stuff. Obviously, it's gonna be harder, but we just want to show you how to do the, 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 the most important part. So we have a car on the lift ready to lift up and pull it back in a second okay then guys the basic plan is to remove the center console from the car Rafael is already started working on it so you just have to re remove all the panel middle panel the gear knob and there is a four screws under we're gonna show you later so that's the start you have to disassemble it from the top I'm sure you all know how to do the basics but I'm gonna show you a piece. Rafa is cleaning like he's really messy in the car. Ah. <laughs> Pop it up. Be gently. Yeah, all the cars, 16 old, so could be damaged. Everything easy. D disconnect all the plugs. Oh, I have to tell you, your gator, the rubber, is in great condition. Yeah, thanks. Right. Thanks for that, yeah? Yeah, look at the condition of that guy, rubber guy. Hmm. I replace it. Oh, okay, yeah. You <laughs> see, he never told me that. I was surprised, like, ooh, it's mm. still good after so many years. A little bit struggling with the white plastic around it. Okay. We use so many inappropriate words so we have to cut it out Those yep yay Woo. very easy to broken oh yeah and there's the four screws there one two four. three four what we just noticed you can get access only to two screws and then you have to lower the, the gearbox to get the access to the this two one two because you just simply cannot access from that stage so the next step is gonna be lift the car and start to disassembly the stuff we need to disassemble like doesn't make sense what I just said but that's how it works We are here so we can show you the nice piece. What yeah. is here? Mr. Dicat. <laughs> yeah, and now we're going behind the raffle. And the plan is disconnect the drive shaft. Disconnect this this thing. Bracket. <laughs> bracket, yeah. It's a bracket. Disconnect drive shaft. Remove these guys. Lots of bolts here. And we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Like, we, we're gonna show you the process, but that's the, just the plan. I'm basically cameraman today. I get the easiest jobs. So, bracket is size 12. I decided to keep the bracket. Yeah, of course I can do anything, like. <laughs> and we start to removing one side of the drive shaft. It's using Allen key. Size... Size... 
size. <laughs> Good size. Some size Allen key. Uh, oh, come on, it's not that important. Like, you're gonna check it yourself. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Disconnecting the drive shaft and and of course he's gonna use the, 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 the gun and I have to with my bare hands disconnect the clutch cylinder it's always starts to be a little bit funny uh, okay Rafa is fighting with the drive shaft still and I start to disassembly clutch slave cylinder there's a two balls here size 12 first you have to unscrew this one when you're gonna move this one it will be easier second one so just start with this one like probably you can see shit no it's not that bad okay you can see that now start with this one then this one basically when you unscrew these two bolts the slave cylinder should to get out itself it can hang out on the line you just have to secure it so at some stage now Rafa is removing the bolt like bracket as you see that's all going down yeah so maybe it will be not much to going down because still the exhaust is keeping everything but it will be safe if you do use some stent yeah like remember like safety first even if it's gonna take a little bit longer just be sure you're doing it safe like after you remove the bracket, you have to disconnect some wires. They're hiding there. There's one, two, so far three. This is oxygen. Three wires, oxygen sensor. And like, just check if you're gonna do everything right. And now we're gonna start three. working from the top. Four now. And yeah. Another piece there. And five there. I don't really want to show you the Raffles carry hand. Yeah, so that's basically you have a like loom to disconnect. And yeah, that's it. Oxygen. Disconnecting few things from the bottom, you have an easy, extremely easy access to these two screws. So now it's the time for them. Like you all guys know, so we're doing it basically everything live. So sometimes we're doing the mistakes. You don't have to replace the, 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 the top screws, the four ones, under the, the, the rubber. There is another three, I think. Yeah, it's only three on, under the small rubber. Yeah. I think there's the three screws, so unscrew them, the short ones. Yeah. So you don't have to do, unscrew the big ones. So sorry for that. Hope first you're watching the video, then you're doing it. <laughs> After removing this tree, you can simply get rid of the gear shift careful because it's greasy as hell and dirty Rafa is not using the gloves I'm using the gloves even for doing the videos okay now, now we see what's what we do wrong you see the big panel the four bolts we open it like we don't need it anyway yeah we don't have to remove so them and when the gearbox will be down we put back yeah, the, the, the I was just wondering bones. for what yeah. they are, for what? Just, just the tree from the top. Yeah, that's enough. Guys, update for an update. Uh, <laughs> yes, we're doing updates for updates. Actually, you have to disconnect those four bolts, screws, because it's holding this piece. Yeah, we just noticed, because it's connecting with this rubber. Like, you, got, you have two choices, or you can disconnect them from the top, or you can disconnect them from the bottom, these four bolts here. But what I'm thinking is better do it from the top, not because we did it, but then this piece, rubber piece, is staying on the top of the car, so it doesn't really, like, I think it can be like a little bit, uh, not annoying, but harder to with the screw on the top. Just this one, okay, just do it whatever you like, or from the bottom or from the top. The piece of exhaust. Like, we will see, anyway. Remove this bracket here. It's one, two, three. Two bolts from the top. Ah, here's the bolt. Here, here, and here. 
uh, because the, the gear is lying on it. So we have to remove it to in order to lower down the, the, the gearbox. Uh, okay, after removing this bracket, it, it was kind of looks tricky, but you just have to pull it down a little bit. It's coming off really easy. We get the access here, a lot of space to lower down the gearbox. So that's what Rafa gonna do now. Hopefully it's not gonna fall down. See how, how, how we do it slowly how far the gearbox will go so do it slowly okay what? Uh. okay oh, yeah, again do oh, oh. <laughs> ah, too much too much like okay it's gonna be a little bit hard to do it on the driveway but still Still. I think still we need to disconnect the, the exhaust. The, the exhaust. So that's what we're gonna do now. Here. There's two two bolts, twelves. Yeah. Removing the the exhaust part, removing this part. Uh, the gearbox is, is still too high. We have to try to lower it down even more because we have one bolt, and you can see that bolt here. I can't put the hand. There's a bolt just right there and it's still the gearbox is still too high to remove this bolt so probably what we have to do we have to remove the the engine bushing uh, in order to get ac access to the screw now Rafael is removing the top bolts the ones we, we have access we have to, to use really long tools long extension so be prepared before you're gonna do it Actually, I have to show you almost where it's done. So, extension and little bit angle thing, whatever it is. Yeah. Removing few bolts from the top, I start to remove the bolts from the engine mount. They are size 14, there is a four of them. Now, Rafa will get to, went to, to get another stand. And we continue our work. So stay tuned. Now, after removing the, 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 the this side of the engine bushing, we still have to remove the bottom part of it because it's still a little bit too. Where's that screw? Okay, after removing the engine bushing with all brackets, it's just here, um, we finally get the access to our screw. We have to use something to, to put it here in order to keep the engine in the proper position. Can you see the screw? No, oh, even I cannot see it. Yeah, yeah. Is it there? Yeah, just there. So now. You can remove the screw, the screw, and hopefully simply remove the the gearbox. After per performing so many magic tricks, we finally get a lot of access to top screws of the gearbox. So hopefully now one left on the right hand. Hopefully now, after removing the one Rafa was talking about, we will be able to disconnect the gearbox from the engine. Yay! Okay, we changed the camera a little bit and we are ready to remove the gearbox. Remove the gearbox from the engine. Hopefully, and I mean hopefully, with no, no surprises. I can't even see the surprises. So, hopefully slowly using the screwdriver or something something similar you have to try to disconnect the the gearbox from the engine shouldn't be a problem this is the one surprises and hopefully we did everything 
So I'm gonna say it again. We're doing everything live and at this stage we're doing it first time. So even if we're doing mistakes, I want you guys to know. We want to show you exactly what you have to do and what surprises you can see or what problems you can approach. So you have to appreciate we are not cutting our videos and we are not pre we are doing it we are not preparing for the video so I believe there were these some one board more there is small possibility start the site but I'm not sure I think it's easy to You don't check any behind the starter model already? I can't see anything. This is it's too tight there. I can't see. Uh, should, be, should be behind starter model something else. Okay, we have to recognize what's happened. Yeah, we'll, we'll be back in a second. Okay guys, another surprise. Like, I think surprise is my favorite war for today. Uh, behind the starter motor, there is one screw facing front of the engine. So now we're kind of struggling to get there. And we're trying to get the best access to there. So as far as we're gonna find it, we will show you how to do it. But now... We, we don't know how to do it. <laughs> now give us a few minutes. Because... So far is the hardest place. is the hardest gearbox to remove. We did it in RX8 and wasn't that hard. We did it in Mazda, it was easy, but now it's getting harder. So thank you Honda for that. After struggling with the starter motor screw and starter motor is exactly like this. You have to use something for Exactly open the board like that. Just don't show the monster logo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, yes. this is okay. not a monster. No. This, this is something else. <laughs> Just uh, something else. So we had to struggle, like fight with the screw, but we did it. So now is the time for... będzie przeszkadzał, na pewno będzie wał przeszkadzał, żeby ją wyciągnąć, wiesz? Now we are thinking what to do with the fork from the from the slave cylinder. Now we are thinking how to disconnect the fork from the slave cylinder. So we love Honda. So give us a few seconds and we'll be back. <laughs> okay, to remove the fork, we just have to use some bar and pull it out China. just like that so you probably see shit because I have to right so I'll show it again pull it like just now he's showing you his back 
now huh pull it out so now time for the gear box now be careful of the drive shaft and slowly pull it out disconnected it from the engine do it slowly because you don't want it to You have to do everything smart, slowly. Just be careful of this. Oh, może teraz idzie? Czekaj, czekaj, uważaj tutaj. Możesz się zjechać w dół? Dobra, teraz tu lekko powoli. Jeszcze, 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 jeszcze. Kurde, dobra. Trzymasz tam? No, trzymam, 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 trzymam. trzymam. Okay, time to remove the pressure plate. So we have a few bolts size 10 to remove the pressure plate. So Rafa will do it quickly. You can do it with your hands. So far away. 
better lights. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Looks like nine. Okay, after removing nine bolts, it's time to remove the pressure plate and we'll see how it's gonna look like. And we have nice. a flywheel. It looks like a little bit greasy. For oh yeah. Look, that's that's the problem. <laughs> that's the end of the of the of the clutch. You almost can see the the, the stuff. Yeah, yeah. The clutch is gone. Definitely, it's gone. You can see the loose springs. That is the big problem. That's yeah, the uh, almost it's coming out. Gun, yeah. yeah, thanks God we did it at this stage because if we're gonna keep it longer, it can scratch the the flywheel. So now we just need to clean it, and what I'm gonna do, we're doing it all the time, most of the times. I'm gonna show you the difference. And that's the new clutch, and that's the old clutch. What we just noticed, the clutch was almost from the beginning. We think. It's from the beginning because there was a Honda signs on the on the pressure plate. So what we are thinking, it was from the beginning. So if it's from the beginning, 16 years. Possible. Yeah, 16 years mm. from, for, for the clutch. But the size of the clutch is the same, the thickness and everything. So basically, we're there. We're almost halfway there. So now you just have to put the back the clutch. Put the gearbox back and happy days. Before you're gonna put the the new clutch, you just have to clean the, the everything. Be sure you're not gonna leave any grease or or any dirt on it. Like I don't want to destroy your new clutch. So clean everything nicely. And if you have a if you have a flywheel like that. You can use some sandpaper, low grease, to, to clean it. Like This is quite important part, so be sure it's clean as much as you can. Because you don't want to... If you have cracks, exactly like here, I'm not yeah. sure we possible see the small Probably cracks. Yeah. Yeah. If the cracks will be for full surface, flywheel should be replaced. But my one is not, not bad. So I, I still with this. I had the same problem with my Mazda, so just don't panic. If you see the small cracks, don't panic. It can happen. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna replace for the light, lightweight flywheel in the future, maybe. Yeah. After you clean the housing, like the level of the cleaning it, it's about you. Just be sure the all moving parts are clean. If you want to clean the sides or whatever, like I said, it's about you. Just be sure you're gonna do minimum of the work. So clean all the moving parts and put back the fork for the for the clutch cylinder. The really handy the thing in your garage. Is brake cleaner. It's actually helping you with everything. So use it as much as you can. Because you see it takes us a few seconds to make the part clean. Almost like new. Like if you like it you can paint it pink. It's very nice because the pin is not worn. Sometimes the pin is worn here like the skimmage worn side. So should be replaced, but my one is fine. So okay. Let's be honest, we even don't have a new pin. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And as you can see, it's quite easy to put it back or remove it. From this side, it's easier to see how to remove it. So use the grease. Yeah. And but anyway, this operation you have to do when the gearbox will be in. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the release bearing is together with the pressure plate, so you can fit it at the moment. Because it's going yeah. between. Uh, 
and just be sure you're gonna put it in proper side. Like yeah. A special clutch grease, not too much. Not enough is bad, too much is bad, so you have yeah. to find the middle. Just just a little bit. Now it's the time to put back all together the pressure plate, pressure forget the name, and the clutch. So release bearing. I just remind. Okay, now most of the kits contains a tool, special tool to put it back, but we don't need a tool. Or maybe we do. No, no, I'm joking. No, you don't need the tool. Like, if the kit contains, yes. If not, no. Honestly, the tool probably don't cost too much. But still, if you don't need to, you don't have to. It is a little bit struggle. But... But... You can use the finger or your friend finger or something else. So it's key. <laughs> One oh. Okay, there's the three bolts showing you where to put the pressure plate. Now when we have it on the place, time to put the screw back. I had a small accident. It, it can happen, guys. Remember, it can happen. Nobody perfect. Yeah. So, no worries. Okay, now it's time for adjust the, we call it center position. Yeah. Okay, so, you're trying to put it as much as you can in the center and then slowly you're screwing it in. So it's gonna help you put back the, the, the gearbox. It's not that hard as it looks like. Just in case you're not sure, buy the tool. Like this is not our first clutch, so definitely not raffle first clutch. Yeah. Without the tool, it takes a little bit longer to, to, to adjust it. But like I said, you can do that without the tool. So, no worries. If you don't have a tool, just take your time to adjust it properly. Died, so we came back for phone camera features. We have a three minutes left, so try to finish this video as quick as we can. Huh? Okay. Tighten up the the, the, the pressure plate. I I suggest you to use the torque wrench if you don't have a idea how tight it has to be. If you have experience, no need it. Perhaps. Yeah. If you don't have a experience and you don't have a Torque wrench, just tight it as hard as you can, but not too hard. Stop so. it before broken. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you just have to have this feeling in your hands. Hey guys, we have 233 space on the phone, so we have to put it in 2 minutes 33 seconds. So the challenge is here. Okay, small change. We want you to see everything. I mean everything. So that's right for us. Hopefully that's gonna be a perfect angle. That's not gonna Okay. 